guys welcome back to my channel we are luna and wayman with watch your mouth with luna and wayman yes. and today's segment is going to be about awkward and or terrible first dates yes yes we have all experienced them <laughs> ladies and men <laughs> yes it's not just the ladies i exactly. know the guys be like where did i find this girl yes yeah. you know leave your stories down below yes if you would like to share if you feel bold enough to share mm -hmm. leave them down below give us all a laugh because it's like in the moment it's horrible, horrible. but then after you're like it's that funny was, that was funny that, that was, was kind of funny yeah mm -hmm. so let's get started so <laughs> are you gonna go first <laughs> Okay, so I name my dates. Depending on how bad they are, I name my dates. So um, when I first like started to do like the online dating, that's mostly where my experiences come from. Mm -hmm. And it was, I call it the popcorn horror story. Popcorn horror story. Yeah, so the first thing was wrong is that we met up first. Okay, first thing is first. We met at the movies. I have learned that that's a horrible thing to do for a first date when you've never met the person. Don't go to the movies because they want to talk. And I'm not a talker in the movies. Like I want, like I'm here to enjoy the movies. So, oh, I'm a yeah, don't don't go don't go to the movies for a first date ever. If you've never met the person. Okay. Oh, I like going to the movies for a first date. I don't care for what ever. They talk, anyways. The first red flag was that the guy looked older than his picture. <laughs> <laughs> he catfished her. He catfished her. Okay. Cat, 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 cat lies. Got it. Um, so, yeah, he was older than, he looked older than his pictures. Secondly, we went to the movies. He ordered, you know, popcorn. He's like, do you want anything to drink? I said water. He's like, okay. And then he didn't order anything to drink. And I was like, um aren't you gonna like get something to drink and mm -hmm. he's like oh no i'm fine i'm like okay so, so he only ordered you something to drink but he didn't order anything for himself he, he so he ordered two popcorns one for himself one for me but and he only gave me, me a drink only he gave you a drink he only gave me a drink okay wow because popcorn makes me extremely thirsty yeah i need the tallest drink i can get there i just had i, I remember it was aquafina <laughs> Aquafina water, that's what I had. Um, okay. So, yeah, so we go to the movies. Number one, he's trying to talk. He hates that. I hate that. Uh, number two, like the, the thing that called the popcorn horror story is because he tried to feed me the popcorn. First date? I don't like, like that. This? Like, yes, he was like, he kept trying to like put it in my mouth, and I was like, no. Okay, that would have been And I creepy. even like moved his hand like, <laughs> no. You know, yeah, I, I don't like this. Oh, come on. Um, I couldn't do it. And then he got thirsty. He got thirsty. He wanted some water. Oh, he, he was like, got oh, his own water. can, um, you know, I, I'll have my commentary after, but <clears throat> he wanted some water and I said, no, <laughs> I'm not feeling good. Wait. So he tried to drink water out of your bottle. Yeah, like it was like I was sitting here, he was sitting over there. But you My asked him, was, was he gonna be thirsty? In <laughs> he the said no, he was gonna be fine. Okay, maybe this is his plan all along. I don't know. He was it. trying to get close. Yeah, too close. So anyway, I said I'm sick. I'm you don't sick. want. <laughs> hey, just to let you know, I'm sick. You don't want what I have. Okay. And he said. I'll be fine. It's you know? the popcorn virus. And I was, and then I started coughing like. <coughs> <laughs> now that's wrong. <laughs> I started coughing crazy and he stopped asking me. And then after the date, he, you know, I don't kiss on the first date. Yeah. I know anybody. I give you a hug mm -hmm. or I shake hands. I don't kiss anybody. And, you know, I was going in for the hug. But he was going in for a kiss. So yeah. I had to swerve gross and hug and he kind of looked at me like, like he was offended yeah like i was like i'm mm. appalled you didn't kiss me on the first day exactly after you tried to drink my water <laughs> i got you water <laughs> and not me you know you know so mm -mm, i couldn't i couldn't do it and I never talked to him again <laughs> popcorn horror story oh wow mm -mm. Mm. yeah well <laughs> i went on a date with this guy we met up at this restaurant to have dinner. 
you know, he was looking good. We go there, everything's going great. Then he starts talking about himself. Then he starts talking about himself some more and some more and some more and some more. The whole date turned into the him show and he was just talking about himself the whole time. I didn't get a chance to get anything in and I was just like, oh yeah, this guy's really in love with himself. Mm -hmm. So after the date, he started getting really, really touchy feely and I'm like, um, sir, first thing, all you did was talk about yourself. Why do you think since you sat there and talked about yourself the whole time that you get to touch on me now. That's yeah. not how that goes. So I was like, eh, skirt, Heisman, because <laughs> this is not how it's going. Like, too touchy-feely. Like, doing all of this oh my and God, trying to get on the... Like, are you, like, rubbing up and down my leg right now? He Sir, probably took a blue pill. He was ready. He was ready. <laughs> you need to get unready because that's not... That wasn't it. That wasn't going to happen. Left it was just like... It. <sighs> see me trying to do something different it's not his fault that he's you know in love with himself but if you're going on a date with someone you would at least want them to you know get to know the other person yeah so yeah that was horrible wow yeah that was yeah i don't yeah don't we can me. call that date the talker the talker yeah that's a good one actually slash freak last freak um okay so i didn't end up okay so i think with when it comes to dating as well, you know, you get red flags. Mm -hmm. Never ignore the red flag. Yeah, and we do that a lot because sometimes we just <clears> want to <throat> just get through it or we just want to make it work. And sometimes it's not worth making it work. Well, we just recognize the potential. We're like, mm -hmm. this man has so much potential. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. he could be the one. Ah. If I just give him a chance and you ignore all that stuff yeah. and... It just ends horribly. You wasted your time, your youth. You just wasted a lot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe even money, okay? <laughs> right. Maybe even money. But um, I was talking to this guy, and we never made it to the date because of red flags. One of the red flags is he asked me, oh, number one, we used to talk every day. Mm -hmm. And the conversations were good. They were okay. Um, but one day he asked me about, was I ever a part of um, some website? So it's kind of like um, Craigslist, but for like... I guess sex? Like back page or something? I think it was that. Hmm. He said something. I'm like, what is that? I guess it's like this freaky... He said something about where you can go and just basically pay for sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm like, oh my God. Because Craigslist weird. has that section. It's called uh, Casual Encounters. Oh, really? I don't know. <laughs> so my cousin told me about this because she likes to read the comments on there because they're hilarious. When you go on there, it's just people trying to get other people to do whatever so it's like they're advertising their self so somebody can um, meet them so they'll, yeah it, um. but it's so weird how they present it. it it's like you know tall six foot skinny man ready to stick it in your butt you know stuff oh like that right, right right so you're reading it so we used to read them because they were just so funny like they were hilarious oh, and then, i think i'm gonna check this out I didn't and know. then it'd be like a picture like some guy sent like a little picture or doing whatever birthday cake whatever oh, <laughs> you just be like awesome. yes and you just be like yo this is crazy like people really do this this is a real thing and it's really on the internet Wow. Okay, so wait, you gotta go through hold on, this is this is for y'all in case y'all wanna check this. No, don't check that out. Craigslist. It's called like casual encounters. Or casual like that. encounters. It's and crazy. Then, and they, they give like encounters. they give like a fake name, their age, of course. and their location. Yeah. And whoever wants to respond. And then the the little the little um they have like little uh they numbers, but it's not the actual Is numbers. That ratings? No, so they oh. give you so say I'm giving you you giving you my phone number on the site. Okay. But instead of putting the actual numbers, they spell out the words of the numbers. It's so it's weird, so, man. So the number anybody can see it then. It's weird. And then some of them be like, must be ready to host. <laughs> so like you have to like you gotta go to their house because they're not doing it at their house. It'd be like, must be able to host, um, I'm a bottom, just like crazy shit like what? that. And it, like, it's funny. And then on the bottom, it's like, must be disease free. Like they're going to oh tell you God. if like, they got one or girl, not. I got, and they got a grew, I ain't got nothing. Right. Like gonorrhea. <laughs> like gonorrhea. Okay. It wow. is. It's hilarious. 
I'm gonna show you on the phone. Oh my goodness. It's yeah. funny. <laughs> I gotta see this. But he was <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. But then he told me to spiel. And I'm like, oh my God, like, that's real? He's like, yeah, well, it's since real. you don't know nothing about it, I know you not one of them type of girls. I'm like, okay. Well, were you and looking then, for that type of girl? Like, what made you even yeah, say so that he, So for him to even know anything about that and he's know the detail, it. yeah, he's been on it. That was red flag number mm -hmm. one. One, okay? Next thing he said, like, he says, I love hard. And, you know, if a girl cheated on me, I would have to slash her tires. And he didn't laugh. I was laughing. He didn't think that was funny. He didn't laugh. Red flag number two. He's violent. Two. Yeah. Um, safe to say I never met him. Mm. And uh, I guess you could say I probably like ghost him. No, I did ghost him. And I'm working on that because... Um, it ghosting just so is real and girls do it too. It's yes. not just the guys ghosting yes. you thing. Yes. Women do it too. Yeah. And it's because certain things I feel like... You were first initially talking to somebody, you know, yeah, it's true, you know, you're supposed to communicate and all that stuff. But situations like that, I'm not about to sit here and tell you, you know what, I'm not interested. What? Mm. So you can find me? Mm. So you can slash my tires? The fact that he even told you that he slashed tires. He was very comfortable talking to me. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a, you know, a nice person in real life. <laughs> and he, he, he didn't slash somebody's tires before. This is not a... Yeah, and it got a point across, obviously, for him to be like, I'm a slash... They ties, you know. Period. And I just, I just can't. I just can't. So yeah, you gotta pay attention to red flags. The red flags, cause they're there. They're there. I just feel like when you're in a relationship or you get into a real relationship, it should be easier than that. Um, yeah. I mean, everybody's not gonna be. There's no such thing as perfect, mm -hmm. per perfect person. And I'm definitely not a perfect person but, at all. But. Um, there's going to be compromises. There has to be good communication, but you, you just got to know which path you're going to go down. Okay. Second horrible date. So this was a double date. This was like a double date. I never done one of so those. my sister and I, uh, went on this double date with these guys. Right. And we were like downtown uh -oh. and they lived in like these lofts or something. So we went down there to meet them and like have drinks and dinner and stuff. And they were Arabic guys. No offense to, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not like that. I'm not racist or nothing. So we went there and my sister is crazy. So he gave us some dessert and we were trying it. And I was just like, oh, this is good. This girl going to say, oh my gosh, this tastes like Persian rug. <laughs> what? It's like, first of all, they're not Persian. Why would you say that that dessert tastes like Persian rugs? So and I'm like, Persian rugs taste right. Like and I'm like, oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm like, shut up. I'm like, this is bad. They're going to kill us. Oh my God. Yes. Oh Lord. So after all that happens, she was trying to walk in the house and he was like, you can't walk in the house because my sister needs to walk in the house first. So I guess mm. it's like custom, the family members walk in the house first and then she walks. So I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, let her walk in the house. Mm. Then he gets on the phone and he's like, oh, one second, one second. I'm talking to my wife. It was the most nonchalant. I have a bunch of wives. I don't give a fuck. I've ever seen. He was like, hold on. I want to continue this date with you, but hold on. Let me tell my wife that I'm on this date real quick and then I'll talk back to you. I was just like, oh, right. Sister wives. So it's, it time. Your sister wives. it's time to leave. Yeah. Um, at um, this point, it's time to go. This is yeah. getting kind of crazy. And then you already insulted him saying his dessert tastes like Persian rug. <laughs> <laughs> so you ruined this, her chances anyway. So okay. I'm like, you know what? Mm, wow. This is not going to work. Let's just go now before some crazy shit happen because I don't, you know. You know, to each, is their, to, yeah, to each is their own. I'm just a fervent believer of just being upfront and honest about like what you want you know so if i mean if you're online dating or you in person you meet that person mm -hmm. you know just be upfront and honest like what do you want i just want sex okay then just say that mm -hmm. you know thing that one of the things that i hate the most is when a man feels like he is taking my choice away trying mm -hmm. to be deceptive mm -hmm. not knowing i already peeped out what, what was he, going on yeah and bitch, i'm already about anyway mm -hmm. halfway about so, yeah, I hate that when you think you're taking somebody's choice away. What if you don't know what, what if you don't know what you want from somebody? I mean, like, they I say that, that too. I, I get that a lot too. Like, I mean, if you're doing online dating, especially, you know, it's one of the questions I ask, like, what do you want? What are you looking for? And it's a lot of times, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It, but 
it's saying I don't know an automatic red flag too because I think sometimes people don't know if they want to they just want to be casual. casual and then this is where you have to set your standards well mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be intimate with you right we're just casual. casual so we just kicking it you my friend I'm your friend mm -hmm. um unless you want to be like okay we just casually doing stuff but then that's when you get into situationships that's when you catch feelings. That's, that's when, when you catch get entangled. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> entanglement. entanglement. So yeah. So you just gotta be think, careful. Like, do you think, especially since with all this going on, everything is like digital, online, this, online, that. You can do everything online. You see a doctor yeah. online. So with everything being so digital, you think people are just not into being in committed relationships now because of the the day and age of what's going on yes and no i i think of online dating kind of like um what's those machines you put the coin in and you get food chips or vending machine a vending machine and i say that because you know you put your your coin is you logging on to the site mm -hmm. and you're you know you're looking mm -hmm. at the merchandise uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i want them cheetahs Mm -hmm. I want that thick on yeah. And then, boop, you say what you got to say. You saying it all nice and stuff. And then she fall, she fall through. You know, you got your snack. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you got your snack. And then you know what? Mm, I don't think I, I want Skittles. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. And you casually throw thickles away. away. And you want Skittles. And then until you log back on, you probably still got thickums, you know, on the bed. Mm -hmm. And you just logging on and you looking at Skittles and you push them buttons and now Skittles is falling. You know, I just feel like it can be a trigger to a lot of deception. Um, there probably are addicts who like do that just because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. And probably a lot on there too um, because of like polygamy. I am a one woman, one man type of thing. Like I just want one man. I don't want... And I don't want to be a sister wife. I don't want to polygamy. I'm not doing that. I'm not sharing. Um, I'm not living I'm in not, a house with you and like other kids that are not my kids. And I'm not doing any of that. So. Nothing against the people that do that. Because again, to each is their own. Yeah, nothing so against them. You know, but I'm just. Yeah, I, I it's just my it. preference. It's just my preference. <laughs> yeah. And nobody needs to convince me otherwise. I mm -hmm. watched plenty of videos on it. I've seen some women with some multiple men i saw this there's this one uh youtuber instagrammer and she's got a husband and her and shy she, guy and they're cool yeah. with it everybody's yeah. okay with it yeah yeah everybody's okay with it and i'm like don't want two men <laughs> and i'm like no 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 let me let me get back can be one way and then you know no, mm -hmm. no you just gotta go straight <laughs> but um yeah it's just a lot of deception out there i feel like um and i think because of online dating too you don't get talked to a lot that much, or at least my experience, out and out and about anymore because of that. I feel like when I was younger, when there wasn't the, uh, online dating, you know, men were more perceptive to say, hey, blah, 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 you know, mm -hmm. I'll talk to you. Now, because of online dating, I feel like they might look at you and be like, ooh, I wonder if she's on Tinder. Mm. Ooh, I wonder if she's on whatever, whatever. But you just get so many things. Um, so many things. You think people don't just don't want to meet in person anymore like like online is enough like that's just enough hey i met you online we're doing all this online catfish. stuff catfish the show catfish mm, yeah people be getting what engaged on there like oh we gonna get married you've never met this person and then before. when you see him but he's we like have a good communication yeah yeah he's either old or it's actually another woman mm -hmm. or it was whatever because some people just want to be deceptive well that's kind of wrong they just want to hurt or they feel like oh i am really in love with you or you fell in love with me but um but you fell in love with that me looking like that but this is how i really am and we have all this connection so is it deception if okay so say you're like an old man right <laughs> and you're on a website but you put a younger picture of you it's still you no <laughs> post it down below i don't know if i can find it it was uh, i think it was like in asia or something like that the the woman never took her makeup off he always saw her with makeup and they got married and then their first this is a story that i heard 
And then the first um, night she took her makeup off and he saw her. I think he called the police. <laughs> Cause he didn't recognize her. Not the police. And he's getting divorced. Uh, wow. False she advertisement. She must have been it's, busted. Yeah, she, she, false advertisement. I mean, makeup can make you. I have seen women where I've watched those tons of videos, and I'm like, oh my god, like you totally transform. Let me rewind this. Let me learn. Let me learn the tips and tricks. Well, that's his fault. He should have fell in love with her heart and not her makeup. Oh, I mean, when you go online and you're swiping anyway, you're looking at how they look. Yeah, this is true. I mean, you if know, there's no physical attraction, we all know. No matter what people say, oh my God, I look past it. No, you didn't. And I think it's just easier when you're out in person and meeting somebody because you might not be physically attracted to them. Mm -hmm. But then you find, oh, wait, this person is whatever you're looking for. And um, it kind of grows on you. At least that's for me sometimes. I feel like they just grow on so you. So this man was butt ugly. I'm talking what about. Why did I say he's butt ugly? <laughs> We're putting, we're, we're giving scenarios right now. <laughs> but ugly. So this guy was severely unattractive. Oh, okay. Like. And we met in person? Yes. Okay. Like, <laughs> like when you see him. <laughs> like oh, why like when you see him, you got scared. <laughs> and he'd be like, hi. Like, oh. <laughs> He's talking to me. But. We probably not going to be friends. But wait. But why what? Are you but be ugly? Because I'm giving scenarios. So, oh, okay. this guy is like scary, horror movie, scary, ugly. But he's everything else. Every single thing else. Everything you've been looking for. Everything, everything, everything he has. But his face is. Ah! What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because. Because what? <laughs> Look. Don't start that. I am yours and energy is mine. <laughs> happens all the time but <laughs> are you friends with them if they're funny and what if they were like trying to holler we're friends <laughs> see there you go like if i'm scared of you i'm probably gonna talk to you anyway and i'm so, scared so you see what i'm saying guys right here whatever if right he's here. scary like like how she was demonstrating to us then you know why would you okay so what if he's like really nice looking everything is yeah he don't have to be like mm -hmm. fine because i feel like when we talk to a man who's foreign if he's too foreign something right yeah foreign not like, fine like if he's foreign yeah foreign foreign when he's foreign foreign and he know he's foreign something ain't right you know he's conceited he's he's something's he's, not right his head is big he's so what if he's foreign okay what everything's if he's going for him he supports you he make you laugh you know everything you're looking for and then it's oh dang oh what's his face oh what's his face not nini oh man what's his face it's a dude on instagram and he makes videos i dress up as a woman all the time and he always be doing these videos where he's like doing this with his <laughs> shoulders. I can't think of his neck. He did a video with this girl like that. He's like, ooh, whatever. I really like this one though. Or it was it was a really good song. And she was like, oh well, I don't want to hear it because he's everything you want. But now you're talking about him. I don't want to hear it. And she was like, oh, but look at it. And she was like, oh hell no. <laughs> because it was an itty bitty living space. Was, you know, I mean, it depends on if they can. Work it. Nope, he can't work it. But the thing that flip it never burst uh -uh. it. It's your thing. It's what? Because no one knows what she says on that part. <laughs> I don't know what he said. He's here. Nobody knows. But uh, what are you gonna do? So is this long answer conference? Yeah, like this is this is it. Why the whole is everything thing. she's talking about is like so extreme? Because it's, it's <laughs> you're scared of it because you the world wants to. Know. <laughs> the world wants to know. Oh it's my like goodness. this, and he can't work it. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is great though. You know what I wonder? If they have the technology for women to turn their innies into outies. Say what? You know when transgender. Oh, you mean sex changes. Sex changes. Mm -hmm. So. Do they make penis men? enlarger transplants? I don't 
know. Can you just like stuff Chime it? Chime in, y'all. <laughs> can I? There's a shot. Can you stuff or it? Or something? Can you like stuff it to make it? <laughs> you know what that means? Like you go from this to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not true. And you're like, babe, I still don't hold you. <laughs> that's not true, guys. Don't think I'm like that. Size does not matter. <laughs> no, no, seriously. No, for real, it doesn't. But just for some women, it does. And if he's coming like this, yeah. and you're used to one of these, <laughs> King Dingling. King Dingling. Dingling. So what are you gonna do? Um, and just, <laughs> just Shalina's bad. <laughs> Just <laughs> can you adjust? Yeah. Well, at least you can say you tried, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe yeah. he's got to bring in toys, but then it's like, if I need toys, then what I need you, you for? for? Yeah. I mean, sexual. But you know what? I feel like well, these toys are getting crazy. They're oh, getting man. like. That's another topic. Oh lord, y'all want that story? They're getting crazy. They're getting high tech. Get put some thumbs up in the comments, y'all. Yes. You want to hear some story? <laughs> They're getting. I don't know from experience or not like that. I just heard that these toys get crazy. Yeah, I yeah. There's some videos definitely on YouTube about that's totally dedicated to just toys. Yeah. Pleasure for men and women. Yeah, and I mean the guys can get them too. Like some pretty soon, we're not gonna need us no more. We're not gonna need. Ain't nothing gonna beat the real thing. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my goodness. It depends on what type of person you are. Men, you're no longer needed, okay? Women might be no longer needed either. These things has got suctions and tongues and teeth. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We just meant something. <laughs> but no, really. But I think for the toy aspect... We are so getting off topic. But yeah, guys, chime in down in the comments. Give us some thumbs up if you want us to continue this uh, topic. And right, story. we totally got off topic. But I know we totally did. Those were my horror dates. Um, I usually don't have a lot of horror dates. The first date usually is okay. It's like the third, fourth, and fifth one that gets weird. But um, I don't have really problem. bad first ones actually i think because everybody's putting on their best show for the first one and then as time goes on you're like wow that guy's really not who i thought he was it's just a facade yeah so wait you told two stories i told like one mm -hmm. okay okay so i'm throwing another one throw it in okay so i was talking to this guy like every day it was great conversation and he had two jobs I think of uh, everybody hates Chris. And oh, like, right. I got one good job. I'm gonna <laughs> get two jobs. I do not need this. My man has two jobs. File your own damn papers. I do not need this. My husband has two jobs. I do not need this. My man has two jobs. I do not need this, okay? My man has two jobs. You know, she just be like, boom. And uh, he worked two jobs and he was going to California for a vacation. Mm. And I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to probably talk to him because he's going to be on vacation. Right. Nope. He still called. He still texts, you know. And then we finally made a date like we were going to go out. Mm. And again, it was the movies. I'm trying to think, did we go to dinner too? No, we just went to the movies. Uh, just <sighs> case in point, um, Shalina hates the movies. Let's just put that out there. Uh, so yeah, no. But anyway, yeah, I went to the movies. So I met him at his place. Mm -hmm. Um... That's another thing I wouldn't advise. I mean, nothing happened, like, there, but I just wouldn't advise that. We were going um, to somebody's house on the first date? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, the movie was great. You want to come back to my place? No. But, uh, yeah, I met him at his place, and then we went to the movies in his Camaro. Ooh. Um, tiny, tiny car. I do love cars. Y'all don't know. I love cars. But anyway, go in his car. He was okay when we got there, went to the movies. Um, but he had said something crazy to me about, yeah, blah, 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 Zay, and then, you know, put you out. <laughs> Wait, he said he was going to put you out? Huh? Well, it was as if, like, oh. yeah, I, he didn't say he was going to put me out, but, like, he, the where we were, mm -hmm. it was kind of, I don't want to say rule, but, um, no buses. Rule. No buses. Oh. So, y'all was in the country. So, yeah, somebody got kicked out the car, and it was getting nighttime, too. Yeah. Like, you're going to be in trouble. Um, but the, again, pay attention 
to what they say, how they say it, how they're directing the information to you. Mm. And I just know I have my pepper spray. Like you pop, a pop. Yeah. Pop, pop. So um, yeah, that was a horrible date, and I never talked to him again because I just, I just can't deal with craziness. And so he was acting crazy in the car. Yeah, but he was perfect. All the other times we talked on the phone, we FaceTimed a lot. There was no red flag. When you got in the car, he started tripping. Started talking crazy. Like, what was he saying about putting you out, though? It was something about, like, you know, this is not a lot of people be coming up here. And, you know, somebody say something wrong or something like that. You know, just, just get out. You know, it was a random thing he said. Like, we weren't talking about kicking nobody. We weren't talking about outside at all. He just wanted to let you know, if you try some shit, he going to leave you out here. Yes, basically, I guess. So, so no, I had my, my hand, my pepper spray in my pocket. She had her finger on the trigger. She was ready. Yeah, it was going to go down. But I luckily, I didn't have to do that. You know, after the movie, she took me back to his place. I didn't go upstairs. I just got in my car and I went home yeah. um and she never called that guy and again. i never called that guy you know what no i never called him back again but i did text him and just a little long text about why i can't see him again mm -hmm. well at least you text i prefer to meet somebody out and about mm -hmm. i prefer that it's just more genuine you know, you don't have to worry about, well, you know, I'm not going to talk to you today because I got to talk to this person. Mm -hmm. I got to text this person and this person, this person. I just, just more genuine mm -hmm. in person. So, um, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, do guys even want to date anymore? Do they want to, like, meet up and talk and do stuff? Or do they just want to be like, hey, swipe left or right? Let us know. <laughs> yeah, guys, let's know. They seem like they don't want to do anything. I mean, then. some guys be serious, like in their stuff. Like, I want, to, I want to get married. I want to have kids. Mm. I want, you know, I want this and I want something serious. So don't waste my time. Mm. And some are just like, waste all my time, please. Or they have it on their forehead, like I'm gonna waste, waste your time, waste mm. your time. You know, mm. it's just. And you're like, does it really say that on my head? <laughs> and you know, ladies, do you guys want to be courted still? Or are you okay with just the swipe, swipe, chitty, chitty, bang, bang? Yeah, because there's some shysty women out there too on the dates. Like, they just want to go just for the Free meal. food! Free, yeah, a free meal. Free food. And that's it. And they ain't going to see you again. They're probably going to ghost you. Or they might try to squeeze a second day squeeze out. Squeeze some more food. And suggest a certain restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, because like, look, this is the last one. This is the last meal. So, right. so let's I better make, make it the best it. of it. Yes, make the and best of it. And then I'm going to call the other guy and we can start on his food bill. <laughs> yeah, or some women will do two dates in one night. Yeah. The meal prep dinner. This is it, basically. Boom. Yeah. So you guys chime in down the bottom. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up also if you want to hear some more of these crazy seductive stories. Um, but yes, like, subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys. We got more content coming for you. And Asante Sana. What that means. Peace.